I know Mr. Da Mr. Gray has landed tonight. Da. I'm working on it. Yeah. Listen, believe me, we tried. The old man proved resilient. And we left someone behind to watch him. If we need, we can go back, but I'm not sure how much more I can take. That's why we need Smith. We tried that already. I got a man down here! Ah! Send us just, just a couple of emails. Michelle Bar Walters, nurse and good friends with the Jensen's, Brooklyn Court, Sissena, <laughs> well, of course, Bradford. Life, niin chaos model on kinematrix. I do know that this person mother had no such mutations. To me, the country doesn't lie. Okay. Mother, but some, somehow weird. Master Hacker. Fira destroys White Helix Labs, so that's Adam Jensen's real home, basically. So he was some kind of test subject, which is nice. So I could actually offload these.
the lady is sen senile, so so probably not going to like remember anything interesting. So it, it's going to be probably like some something like really good red red herring, or and they kind of vanished. Did I leave my door open? Wait, you're not from Rolling Mills. You're too handsome to be from Rolling Mills. <laughs> no, Old ladies. Not. Mrs. Michelle Walters, is it? My name's Adam Jensen. <laughs> no, no. You much too old to be him. You must be from Rolling Mills. And please, it's Miss Walters. Brent Radford sent me. Do you remember him? He's a detective. Yes, lovely gentleman. He still has my photos of Adam when he was a baby. Oh, could you be a dear and fetch them for me? I forgot who has them, though. Are these the photographs? Oh, yes, yes. Thank you. I... I haven't seen Adam Jensen in such a long time. Forever, it seems. Such a happy baby. I would love to hear more about the boy in those photographs. Such a polite and handsome young man. It'll be my pleasure. The boy in the photo, Adam. Jensen was never really his last name, you know. We only gave that to him after the fire. I wonder how, fire. how he At feels. At White Helix Lab. That's where Adam's real parents were. At least I think they were his parents. All those babies, the gene therapy they went through. But Adam, oh, Adam was special. Special? How? He survived what they did to those babies. He was one of a kind. Then, when we heard they were going to use him to inoculate the next batch of infants. Wait, what were they doing to the babies? I wish I could remember. I was just part of a nursing staff. But Adam's parents, they started the fire. Sus. Yes, I remember that. They asked me to hide Adam. Then they started the fire. Poor things. They never got out in time. So they started a fire at White Helix Labs. And you hid me. No, not you, dear. Adam Jensen. Or at least I think that was his name. Well, I gave him to the Jensens to raise. They were a lovely couple. Miss Walters, my Adam's real parents, who were they? I'm sorry. What were we talking about? Oh, when are them Rolling Mills people gonna get here with my yeah, dinner? Yeah, this is this is uh, this is pretty normal that uh, people with with uh, Alzheimer's disease can't can't really focus for um, like five minutes. Then uh, then again, well, e each of them are different, so it's some some people can re recall well old stuff, but others. Miss Walters, can't. please. I know it was a while ago. Well, Mr. Radford and I spoke about many, many things. But don't you have meals to deliver? And where is my dinner? Thank you for your time, Miss Walters. Oh, before I forget, if you see Adam, could you please give him this? It's for all the birthdays and Christmases I've missed. I've been saving them. Oh. Make sure he gets it. Thank you, dear. Why, he must be 12 or 13 by now. Make sure he gets something nice. 200 credits. Old lady's apartment. Nothing is us. Pritchard. 
I need you to assign a temporary security detail to an apartment on Brooklyn Court until I can figure out a more permanent solution. The woman's name is Walters. Michelle Walters. Security detail? What the hell, Jensen? Who is this woman? She's... family. But she's vulnerable. I'll explain later. Just do this for me, please. And not a word to Seraph. Can I trust you on this, Pritchard? Christ, Jensen. All right, all right. I'll do it. But there better be a damn good reason for this. There is. I'll fill you in next time I see you. But right now I need to get back to work. And Pritchard, thanks. Yeah, yeah. seems to be under control in the convention center. And Taggart? He's on stage now. His protection is D. Only those with VIP passes can get by the guards. We'll just stay here and make sure none of those hooligans try to sneak in the back door. I stole some designated shooters. had broken down this week. You think they would actually work and not just sit there looking good? Damn pussy stuff. Tell me about it. Now with all the damage out there, I thought we're gonna be doing it. I know you probably don't agree with what Mr. Taggart has to say, but you can't deny that he's a powerful speaker. Ouch. What is it? Bill is really changing the world. So what do you think of Bill Taggart? Bill is really... Hey, are you able to get in to hear Taggart's speech? Bill is really changing the world for the better. Or changing it back to what it used to be. To before these people started poisoning their bodies. Or to use his words, their divine engines. See, I have no problem with amputees wanting to get augmentations. Especially our soldiers. That's the least they deserve after defending our country. Like Taggart's patient, Ezekiel. Right. And what happened yeah. to Ezekiel? You're not gonna let me? Ha! I can't believe there are still people out there. And do you know how he's gonna influence legislation? How he's going to convince you this is really what you want? With fear! He's already started! But just look outside. Look In a non-direct way, he's In promoting this kind of reaction. Well, there have always been nuts like Tiger frenzy. trying to stop human and I don't progress. Blame them. I blame By the end of the day, like the human need to explore the always wins out. It'll be a relic in no time. I hope you're right. I'm just wondering when Hugh Darrow is 
going to come out of his shell and take a position. It seems like his whole resolution is on hold until he speaks up. I don't agree with you on this. You I'm not sure where the real thing is. It just frustrates from. me how some of you grown humanists act so stupid. Is that one of like you have person all the I actually every helped? Question ever posed. Who are you? Backstage. Let's go to the toilets. Usually people leave their passports in the toilets. Nope. Nothing here. By the way, new toilet design. Yeah, th this might feel like uh, oversimplification and underestimation of the what, what the people are thinking, but people are already taking like really, really r critical and uh, un unfounded. Uh, pretty strong arguments against AI smart programs for example so I can't really say that this wouldn't be the case that people without arg arguments actually actually shun, shun the people who, who do have uh, arguments okay there's going to be like Ton, ton of ice on us if, if this alert goes through. Access grant. Glitch it and okay. So it basically saved right here. The most sensible thing would be to go the way we came, but it's well, it actually could be option if I start to like play Minecraft here. Boing. So, anything else I could actually move here? Strong hands are actually help. On maintaining a safe environment. They don't have anything and nice there, so let's time. avoid the battle and go this way. And members of Basically, going to even even stay here to listen what he is he has to say. We are just getting out. I hope they brought in enough police to handle the rioters. I don't know how it happened. When Hugh Darrow discovered the secret of augmentation, he gave us the chance to better ourselves. The 
convention center has been quiet all night. Don't know how welcome Thanks someone like you will be here. Watch your step. Okay, so it's on the other, other exit. And this building is like modern convention centers that <laughs> weird floor plan basically. me through. Jensen? I almost didn't recognize you. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, what are the chances? Do you remember me? Uh, I was a rookie when you still rolled in SWAT. Nikki, of course I remember you. How you been? The brass got you on ride control too? Yeah, yeah, I am. Or I was until... <sighs> Damn it. Look, something big is going down and I'm kind of freaking out here. You remember that MCB or Jacob White? You busted him a couple of times. Yeah, I remember him. Assault and possession. He's still running rackets. No, no, I mean, yeah, shit, I don't know. Anyway, it doesn't matter, because he's moved on to bigger things. Nikki, slow down. Listen, hear me out. I just got word he has his hands on some real military-grade explosives. The prick's got a fucking bomb, Adam. And you know how much he hates the PD. He's going to hit us while we have our pants down with the riots. You gotta help us out here. Nikki, I'm kinda busy. If he's got a bomb, just call it in and follow procedure. What do you think I've been doing? I've been on the horn all night, and my CO already sent a patrol over to Jacob's house. We've got a warrant, so they searched the place, but nothing came up, not even Jacob. Now they're saying my CI is probably full of shit and just fucking with me. <laughs> Bullshit! Jacob's using the riots as cover, and he's going to hit us, and hit us hard. Adam, I need you to trust me on this. You gotta help me find Jacob. I have to admit, Nikki, I'm having a hard time believing White could come up with something like this. He can barely tie his own shoelaces without tripping all over himself. That was then. This is now. After his last stint in Standish, he got bug-eyed crazy. Started talking about how the gang war and derelict row was all part of a government plot, and it's time he did something about it. I remember him saying that augmented kid we took down last year was a cover-up. Exactly! And he's been railing against Wayne Haas, the PD, and anyone else involved in that ever since. I'm telling you, Adam, he's been getting more and more violent. Now he's got explosives, and we've got a giant bullseye painted on our ass. So why is it nobody trusts your source? He used to run with White's old crew, but he's a three-strike perk facing a dime on some damn parole violation. He's trying to cop a deal, so nobody trusts him. Thing is, I know he's reliable. He hasn't bullshitted me yet. And I don't think he's doing it now. How did White even manage to get his hands on explosives? My source says he got the bomb materials from some government stash out in Highland Park. It's all uh, I know so far. Um, we know the but it all fits! He was last seen ranting at a rally about shattering the foundation of the hypocrisy or some bullshit like that. You know, quoting Che Guevara and talking about violent revolution. Did he have the shirt too? What? Anyway. He practically named the date and time of this reckoning. And it's tonight. It has to be. Nikki, look, I don't work for the city anymore. And I don't exactly have a lot of time right now. Yeah, yeah, I understand. Look, the cops have a Deadpool going. I don't like it, but you kill a cop killer and you get a bounty. I usually reserve this to pay off our CIs, but if Jacob really is going after us, then he's as good as dead as far as I'm concerned. You take him out, the bounty is yours. To be honest, though, I'd rather see him rotting behind bars. If you can knock him out and give him to us alive, I'll try to sweeten the deal. What is it exactly that you need me to do? You mean you'll help me out? Really? I didn't say that. Assuming I did agree to help, what would you need me to do exactly? Oh. Well, based on Jacob's history and his new political agenda, I can almost guarantee he's going after cops. I've warned everyone working street detail and anyone else who'd listen to keep an eye out. But with half the force tied up with the protests and rioting, I can't get the manpower for a proper search. I need you to check a few spots my CI thinks Jacob could be at and take care of the threat if you can. Even if you find nothing, great. It put my mind at ease at least. 
Fine. I'll help. Oh, of course he helps. Let's go over what we know. Just the facts. What we know? Just the facts? What we know is he's certified batshit crazy. Hates cops, quotes Che Guevara, and got his hands on military-grade explosives. What more do you need to know? Oh, Christ, man. I've got nobody to help me, and, and I can't even breathe. How am I supposed to find this guy? How, the how bomb could be right under us, that right guy now! That ever, ever got to spot. Nikki, you're a cop. Act like it. How are you gonna earn your stripes if you shit yourself under pressure like some wet behind the ears rookie at the academy? Fuck. I, you're right. Damn it. I, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I lost my head. I'm still in the game, Adam. It won't happen again. You can trust me on this. Just focus, okay? We know that White hates cops, so his first target is probably gonna be the precinct or somewhere nearby. Make sense? Yeah, and you wouldn't risk hanging around the bank or transit station. They've got those security cameras with facial recognition software. And the precinct is shut down thanks to the internal affairs investigation. That leaves the precinct alleys and sewers as the most probable places to find White. Sure. I'm going to get on the horn and update my CO. Can you check those two locations? And Jensen, be careful. White may have left booby traps lying around. He's like that, now that I think about it. No problem. Anything else you can give me? I... Uh, I don't know. You remember what White looks like, right? Tall, Caucasian, skinhead? He's not the quietest guy, so you'll probably hear him before you see him. Yeah, a real philosopher king. I remember. Yeah, so if you just keep your eyes <laughs> and ears open, king. I'm sure you'll find him. Yep. Also, I heard he's had some major augmentation work done. Nice. I'd be extra careful around him. I think the white we used to know has been replaced with something much worse. Got it. I know it's a long shot, but I'm hoping we get back up to expand the search. In the meantime, we can check those areas, and who knows, maybe we'll catch a break. Oh, and Jensen, please don't turn him into a martyr. I'd prefer him breathing. You wait for them to save you? I promise you, you will learn to fear the machine men. They're among us. Hidden in plain sight. Access grant. And their masters mold the way we think. They spew their poison into your ears and you listen. You can no longer tell the difference between the truth and their lie. There's no shelter. It's sky. It will find you. There's a sickness coming, my children. Gray and deadly. You have come. I guess I turned it off when when I was between we those lasers or something. Them. Then it will be too late! Open your eyes, my friend! Tranquilizer darts. Okay, he's living here. Visited here before, but I didn't know the who is living here or something? You sure you closed the door? Yeah, yeah, of course I did. What do you think I am? Idiot. You're not. Don't make me answer that, are you? Going after. Put it first. Get this 
seem like, seems like a bad guy. It was a trap. <laughs> that's that's why they were talking. Did you close the door? You sure you closed the door? Yeah, yeah. Of course I did. What do you think I am? An idiot? You're not going to make the answer, are you? Sounds like. <laughs> <laughs> You know I'm going to find you. That guy. That guy once again. On, on the EMP mine. Yeah, maybe I should have done something against him for the first time he was useful, but that's just troublesome. Although that was pretty good ambush, I have to say. Template or concussion mine would be my choice. I don't have much of the use of these kind of mines, but sure, I'll buy it. Richard, looks like Sandoval's got a secret bunker. I'm gonna flush him out. Let's hope he's still there. there? I think it came from... from... around here. Yo, you see anything? Must have imagined it. Maybe it was for the glass of ink.
This is quite handy. I have to admit. Okay, you can get see it through the walls. There ain't no one here, man. Jesus, what happened to you? This is why I urge every member of my staff, every man and woman dedicated to the true mission of the Humanity Front, to do the same. <laughs> Isaiah, if you're watching this, I beg you, do not allow misplaced anger to destroy everything we have struggled okay, to achieve. Okay, he's trying, trying to talk them down. It's over. He knows I can't come back from that. Everybody knows, Sandoval. You can't hide from what you've done. What I've done, Mr. Jensen? I spent years patching people back together from augmentation botch jobs and systemic organ rejection brought on by implants. And now, because of Bill's betrayal, I'll never practice medicine again. You really want to help someone? Tell me where Seraph scientists are. I wish I could, Mr. Jensen. But my involvement ended right after I failed to remove their GPLs. Okay, he failed. You failed? Turns out, my surgical skills weren't good enough to bypass David Seraph's insurance policy. So for all I know, those little implants are broadcasting right now. On a frequency so low, your network specialist wouldn't think to look for it. You changed the frequencies. You have your answers, Mr. Jensen. And I've lost all of mine. The courts may think I have much to atone for, but my court will be a higher one. Okay, he's planning to suicide. Eh. How about I take that gun with me when I go? You got everything you came for. Please, just leave. Believe it or not, I'd rather you didn't kill yourself. That's because you have no idea what tortures I've endured. The guilt, the shame. I was told the scientists would be used to find a peaceful solution to the augmentation crisis. Instead, I was involved in kidnapping and murder. My life ended that night. It's time for me to go. Think about it. Are you really in such a hurry to face that higher court of yours? At least there are no lies before God. Did you see that abominable press conference? William Taggart all but accused me of terrorism. He claimed that all the violence committed in the name of our cause was the result of my influence. So stay Speak alive long I enough to tell video. him your side of the story. He already knows it isn't true. I trusted that man. For years I gave him loyal service and he betrayed me. He sacrificed my freedom and good name to save the reputation of his organization. It's no use fighting him. He'll just spin it again. At least if I die, he'll never be able to use me again. So tell your side of the story to the press. Swear at your trial that you're a better person than him. You want a peaceful solution to the augmentation crisis? Every camera in the country is going to be pointed at you. Use it to make a case. Convince people. Bill Taggart already controls public opinion. You can try to lift my spirit all you want, Mr. Jensen, but the facts don't change. My whole life, all I ever wanted to do was help people. Oh, no. But as a doctor, I couldn't heal those who'd already replaced their natural body parts. So I joined Humanity Front. But we weren't making any progress. Those scientists represented my last chance at having a meaningful life, and I failed! Tell me, what lesson are you teaching your kids by killing yourself? It's bad enough they're gonna find out you're a criminal, but you want them to be quitters too? 
Kill yourself now, and you'll be telling them it's okay to take the easy way out. I know you don't want that. So put the gun down. Show them by your example that you want them to grow up to be fighters. You son of a bitch! Using a man's family against him! I deserve to die, you understand? I've earned it! God damn! But I can't let them repeat my mistakes. I can't take the gun for their sake. Okay, that, that worked. Pritchard, get this. The GPLs are still transmitting. Sandoval switched them to a lower frequency. But, but they could be broadcasting anywhere in the world. I don't have the type of equipment we'll need to find them. It's our only lead, Pritchard. You have to do something. I know. Listen. The riot's still blocking the street entrance. Head back to your apartment and Malik will fly you over. Maybe by the time you get here, I'll have figured out something. Please. I will not speak to you with that weapon in my face. You don't need to babysit me, Mr. Jensen. I have no intention of killing myself anymore. Nor will I resist arrest when the police arrive. I assume your people have already contacted them? If they haven't yet, they will be soon. Then go. Use the information I gave you to track down your scientists. With any luck, they will still be alive. The men who kidnapped them? The soldiers? I don't know who they were. Only last names. Barrett and Namir. I sensed they were highly trained professionals. Working yep. for who? I didn't ask. My brother, Ezekiel, put them in touch with me. Your brother? Not Taggart? Bill wouldn't be so stupid as to get his own hands dirty. I see that now. He's like Teflon. Nothing ever sticks. Okay. Good night. You are bugging me off. Nice detective work, Jensen. You ready to return to HQ? Yep. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Let's hope Pritchard's found that frequency. You to said HQ. it. Now, now I can get to my stash of weapons. I got a message for you, Jensen, from Pritchard. He says he's not in the office. Great. So what exactly am I supposed to do? I don't know. He said you should check in with the boss. Seraph? David's just stepped out for a moment, Mr. Jensen. But do come in. I've been hoping to meet you. Huge, Mr. Darrow. Huge truck, Darrow. I'm surprised you even know who I am. David speaks very highly of you. He says that when it comes to detective work, you are like a dog with a bone. Have you found your scientists yet? What else did David tell you? Over the years, plenty. But today I'm here as a friend and fellow scientist. Things uh -huh. are getting quite turbulent out there, wouldn't you agree? So many people drunk on revolution. The United Nations being urged to intervene. And all because of the technology I created. Things have come a long way since then. Haven't they? And now my old friend David wants me to lead us to the Promised Land. He's asked me to invite members of the UN to Panchea to convince them we don't need industry regulation. Your geoengineering project in the Arctic Ocean. The installation couldn't have been built without the assistance of augmented workers. And when it's finished, 
My little hole in the ocean is going to stop global warming. A lovely photo op, wouldn't you say? If it works. You mean, if it doesn't kill us all? Adam? You're back. Uh, can I speak to you outside? Get to the helipad, son. You're going back to Hengcha Island. Frank tracked down one of the GPLs. Only one? Is it? Sevchenko's. But Adam, we had to call in a favor of the DOD to do it. Meaning, the conspirators probably know I'm coming. Probably. But they probably do. You're Adam Jensen, right? The security chief here? Your men did a good job securing this building when the riot broke out. Boss said we're heading back to Hangshaw. Pritchard tracks up Chenko's GPL signal. If he's alive, there's a chance the rest of them are too. That's a pretty big leap, Jensen. We've been making big leaps for a while now. Whatever you say. You ready to get going? No time like the present. Let's get going. Then hop in. Just like that. Bad news, Spy Boy. Spy Boy? Hangshaw yeah. Traffic Control just revoked our clearance. We're being rerouted to another part of the city. I don't like that. I suppose you can't just ignore them. <laughs> yeah, right. Chinese government. I've got to comply. Bravo Echo Echo 008, proceeding to designated coordinates. Oh, no. We've got a sandlock on our tail. Ah, uh, EMP. Yes, it. All systems are down. Oh. Hang on, we're going in hard. Jump, Jensen. Malik, we've got company. I know. The bird took some damage. Gonna need to patch it up before I can go. I'll stay and cover you. Negative. You need to get away from here and find Dr. Savchenko. I'll be fine. 